friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam and in today's video we will be talking all about semester two. This semester was definitely a roller coaster and I usually like to film these reflection type of videos after every semester. So if you haven't watched my reflection video about semester one, I'll link it at the top right here so you can watch that before watching this video. But very similar to that video, I'll be talking about my courses, how I was feeling, extracurriculars, and I also want to talk about what I'll be doing this summer um, because I'm really excited about the summer, but I'll talk about that later. So yeah, let's get started. All right, semester two. This semester was definitely interesting. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to say that my motivation and productivity declined a lot this semester in comparison to first semester. Um, first semester, I was so excited to be starting university, so I was really on top of my stuff. But this semester, I don't know, I didn't really have that motivation that I did in first semester. And I don't even know why I wasn't feeling the best this semester. It might have been the weather or the lockdowns here in Ontario. It really took a toll on my mental health because I was at home the whole day and since it was cold I didn't really go outside and every day felt the same and it was really sad I don't know February and March were challenging months for me but in April that's when I really started to get my stuff together and really push through to finish the semester strong or as strong as I can be um, but yeah so this semester was tough but I think that a couple of things that really helped me get through it were my extracurriculars and going outside on walks and studying with my sister at home and I wanted to tell you guys this because I feel like it's important to share my true story and that it's okay to have unproductive days and I definitely did face it myself and here on YouTube you usually see all the good stuff and the positives people doing um, a lot of things with their lives and studying and being productive but that's not the case with everyone um, I'm not gonna lie first semester I only showed the good um, in my day in my life videos I would only show me studying and being productive but every day isn't like that the bright side, some highlights of the semester was definitely going to Waterloo for Hack the North in January. I got to stay um, at a hotel with two of my friends um, for two nights and we got to work on a cool project. Another highlight was being part of extracurriculars this term. Um, one of my biggest goals was being part of the community more and so I was part of WICS, which is Women in Computer Science at the University of Waterloo, and TO Hacks, which is a organization that plans hackathons for students. I really enjoyed helping plan events for Wix and I think it's so important for young women in CS to know that they have such a community and I was a first year rep so I helped plan events dedicated for first years and making sure that first years knew about our events. Wix was a huge part of my first year experience and if you're an incoming university student and you identify as a woman or non-binary I would definitely definitely encourage you guys to join Wix events because they really did help me find a community. TO Hacks was also a lot of fun. I was part of the marketing team and I was a social media coordinator so I helped post graphics on their social media pages so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn and I also created some TikTok videos which was a lot of fun. TO Hacks' big hackathon is coming up in two weeks so I'm really excited for that as well. So yeah, I was super happy that I was more involved in extracurriculars this term because university honestly isn't about getting high marks. For some people it might be, but for me it's more of building my network and meeting new people and I feel like through extracurriculars that's a very good way of doing it and so I was really happy to be part of more um, clubs and communities here at university and if you're an incoming university student don't be afraid to apply to clubs and be involved in the community because it's definitely a rewarding experience. Alright, so now let's talk about courses. This semester I took five courses again. I took CS 136, Math 136, Math 138, Chem 120, and Earth 122. And honestly, these courses weren't too bad. I don't think they were much more challenging than courses I took in first semester. I think the biggest difference was my mental health and how I was feeling while doing these courses because like I said, my motivation 
was pretty low this semester so a lot of the times I would start these assignments very last minute which put a lot of pressure on me and that I shouldn't have done that but um, it is the truth and I wanted to be very honest with you guys throughout this whole video. Math 136, Linear Algebra for Honors Mathematics. This course wasn't too bad, I didn't mind it. I think my professor did a really good job explaining the contents. I would spend um, roughly three hours per week on lectures and then I would say five hours on the assignment and then probably one to two hours on the weekly quizzes. Um, so all together this course I spent roughly 10 hours on, um, some weeks more because some of the content was a little harder to understand. But we talked a lot about systems of linear equations, matrix algebra, elementary matrices, and all the properties of matrices as well, all the applications of that. But yeah, overall this course wasn't too bad. There was three tests and one final exam at the end. Alright, the next course is Math 138, Calculus 2 for Honors Mathematics. This course was pretty similar to Math 137 except for how the quizzes and the um, evaluation was um, structured. First semester, we had weekly quizzes on Mobius and assignments on Crowdmark, but this term, um, the quizzes were included in our weekly assignments on Crowdmark. So instead of submitting a quiz and assignment every week, it was just one assignment with um, roughly 10 multiple choice and one long answer type of question. Um, so overall, it's better structured as an evaluation wise. And I roughly spent around two to three hours on lectures and then five to eight hours on the assignments. So it wasn't too bad, but once again, I did start the assignments pretty last minute, which was not a good idea. Um, so we did a lot of like antiderivatives, integrals and properties of integrals and um, the different methods of integration. It wasn't a bad course, but math is always quite challenging for me, so um, keep that in mind. There was weekly assignments, a midterm, and a final. Alright, the next course is CS136, Elementary Algorithm Design and Data Abstraction. And to be honest, this course was quite challenging and time consuming, especially in comparison to CS135. I found this course a lot harder and um, it took up a lot of more of my time. And the way that they marked us was mostly based on how many tests you passed when you submitted your code um, to Marmosat. And that's where I lost a lot of marks. So if you're taking this course, my biggest, biggest, biggest advice can be to write tests until you break your code because there's so many edge cases with a lot of these assignment questions and that's where a lot of people lose their marks including myself um, so definitely make sure to write as much tests as you can but this course is very useful a lot of the concepts are fundamentals of computer science and so we learned a lot of like basic loops memory model pointers um, addresses garbage collection Oh, and I forgot to mention, but we learned C, um, so that's the language that we were using. We also did a lot of um, efficiency, O notation, super important stuff. Also sorting algorithms, so selection sort, insertion sort, quick sort, mer merge sort as well. And then um, after the midterm, we did a lot of like um, structures in C, memory allocation, and lists and queues and linked lists. So a lot of important concepts to learn in this course, but quite demanding and time consuming, especially with the assignments. And near the end, they got a lot, a lot harder. Um, I had so many memory leaks and errors that took me so long to fix. Um, so if you're stuck on a huge bug, my advice is to go to office hours because they definitely do help. And in this course, I would say that I roughly spent 20 to 25 hours a week, especially with the assignments near the end of the course. I was spending up to like 30 hours on the assignment. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of time and effort, 
but I think I learned a lot of the fundamentals and we had um, weekly assignments which was worth 50% of our mark and then we had a final and a midterm as well and we had self-check quizzes which were just for completion marks and we also had 5% of a mark was for um, design so making sure that your, your code is well documented. Alright, the next course I took was Chem 120 and I took a science course because a lot of students don't know but at Waterloo there's a bunch of like courses that you have to take from each like um, breath so like from the humanities, social sciences, pure sciences and pure and applied sciences so you have to take a course from each like department to fill out your degree requirements um, and so for my science requirement I took Chem 120 which is physical and chemical properties of matter. This course wasn't too bad. Um, it was a lot of grade 12 chemistry review and since chemistry was my favorite science in high school I decided to take it in university to fill my requirement and since my grade 12 chem teacher was really good a lot of the content was review um, and so we did a lot of like stoichiometry, properties of gases and organic compounds and all of that so a lot of grade 12 review um, but overall this course wasn't too bad. A lot of high school review and if you took grade 12 chem um, it shouldn't be too bad. And my fifth course was Earth 122 which was another science course to fill out my pure sciences requirement um, and Earth 122 was introductory to environmental sciences. This course was honestly um, a fun bird course like I really enjoyed the content in this course um, my professor had like weekly videos um, lecture videos and I really enjoyed w watching those videos a lot of the content was about um, earth system processes and their influences on humans the effects of human activities on the environment sustainability climate change energy systems surface water pollution and natural disasters so a lot of important things to know and I think that if you're interested in like environment and sustainability this is definitely a good course to take summer I'm very excited that I will be moving out to Waterloo um, since I am in sequence four I'll put the chart right here that means that I'll be in school in the summer and since I did have a rough semester I thought that the best option for me would be to move out with my friends um, so that I can have kind of a change of scenery I feel like a lot of us are burnt out and a change of scenery will be nice for my mental health and to experience the university life that I kind of missed out on. But yeah, I'll be moving out in like by the end of this week. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'll be living with two of my very close friends, but I am planning to film a couple of more videos before the term starts. Um, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I hope that I didn't scare you guys after sharing a little bit of my personal experience and how I felt this term. I just really want to be honest with you guys and show you guys that it's not always um, productivity and I think it's good to tell you guys that and be honest with you all um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below or message me on Instagram I love answering your questions but until next time I will see you all later bye everyone